All right, guys, welcome back to United by Trucks. It's crunch time. Crunch time for LST, for Lone Star Throwdown. Teddy's got a long way to go, and we got a few days to get there. So we leave Thursday morning, next Thursday morning. Today is Thursday, February 18th. I'm back in the shop by myself for a moment, getting a few things going. We're gonna be hitting it hard Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So we think the truck's gonna be on the ground Sunday night, and we're gonna be driving this thing on Monday to get exhaust and alignment. But right now, we're opening up what we think are the last bit of suspension pieces from React. Yes, this is the suspension slash get a lot of stuff done video. So you're gonna see a lot more things happening in this video aside from just suspension. I'm actually standing here looking at the truck right off camera. So if you see me look forward, that's what I'm looking at. Got the React suspension stuff in the box. This should be the rear shock cross member and the rear pan hard cross member. I think I said that I already had the shock cross member. I didn't. I actually had two pan hard bars. So this should be what we need to get finished up. So just as a reminder, we've done the chopping block, one inch narrower, one inch forward control arms up front. We're about to be doing AZ Pro, Pro Performance, tie rod sleeves and new tie rods up front. React trailing arms in the rear. We've got some React upper shock mounts up front. We've replaced the CPP notch that Ron did back in the earlier days of the channel with one that actually covers up some of the access holes on the frame. It's a fully bolt-in notch, but then Mike welded it in just to make sure we're all good and basically say, hey, if we're ever changing this notch, we gotta cut it out. So we are running a lot of the React tubular stuff all the way up front. I think you'll you know you'll see here we've got the Panhard tubular cross member. We've already run the one under the core support and in the very rear of the truck. So now basically aside from the trailing arm cross member, which I do have, but it's just a lot more time. We don't want to pull the cab. So <clears throat> sorry, I got something in my throat. Everything will be tubular on the frame except for that. And we're running buyer compressors, a CVT AccuAir tank that we've converted to VT hooker LS manifolds up front. We've got a new cooling system that you've seen in the last video. Aluminum LS radiator from CJ Pony Parts. Vintage Motors Arizona fan shroud that I'm going to take off and repaint eventually. Uh, we're just in a crunch and the weather has been crazy here so that did not cure well at all. We've got those with the spow fans that we sourced from Holly. We're putting this truck back together. So see what we got in the box. Pan hard bar cross member. We got the bolts for the pan hard bar cross member. We got some bracketry here, some more bracketry here. Ooh, got a bag of bolts that busted. And then my favorite part that I think is really gonna make this ride and look better is the rear shock cross member. So you can see it here. It's got the tabs for the upper shock mount. But just a cool piece and it'll really go well with the trailing arms and our new Beltec Street Performance shocks. So I'm going to get these parts painted up. Shock cross member, it'll go right on the top of the frame. I'll show you that here in just a second. This is the pan hard bar cross member that goes right behind it. So all this is from React Suspension, which is an AZ Pro Performance company. I'm going to get these parts painted up. Hopefully we don't have as bad of an experience as we did on the fan shroud. Yeah, we'll catch you back here in just a minute. When, so in the last video, when we were installing the cooling system for the truck and walking it over, we, uh, we determined that behind these little blue plugs on the CJ Pony Parts radiator, there's a threaded bung. So. Essentially what we ended up having to do because we didn't buy them in the first place is go find some. Summit Racing, I live in Georgia, they can get stuff here overnight uh, without any extra shipping so that worked out really well. So what we did is we ended up getting these Frostbite LS Swap radiator hose fittings for the top and bottom. So what we're going to do is throw one of these in now. This is the top one. It's a one and a quarter OD here and then this is a 16 AN fitting that has the o-ring around it so they're really high quality stuff so we're going to go ahead and throw this in real quick super easy to do and somebody's here and i didn't know it is that you and is that you 
What you doing? Bringing your wiring harness. Oh, nice. All right, guys, so now we're going to take the old tie rods off. Um, you can see it's got a factory style tie rod sleeve, which we need a little bit more adjustability once we put new tie rods in here. I think this one's probably been, this outer one's been shortened before. So we're going to get new tie rods and those sleeves allow for them to be screwed in, you know, a lot farther, which where I don't think you'll have to cut the outer tie rod to get it, to get it aligned, to get the, the toe correct. So we're going to get these pulled out real quick, get some new ones tomorrow and throw the new tie rod sleeves from Pro Performance on them. So here we go. <laughs> All right guys, welcome to United by Trucks. We are back on the suspension, back on really a lot of things. We got some brake parts, we got suspension stuff we're doing in this episode. We got quite a lot to do because, well, we're driving this thing in less than seven days. What, like five days? Five days to Conroe, Texas. Wesley's here with me now. Mike's a little under the weather, so you may not see him for a day or two. If you see, you know, as days pass in this video, you may not see Mike, but he'll be back around here toward the end. I, I, feel, I feel pretty confident. Right now, Wesley's gonna knock out these cross members. I'm gonna finish painting some parts and get the front shock relocators on and mess with the tie rod. So here we go. Okay guys, so one of the things that we like to do or I like to do on these trucks, especially a shop truck or something you're just trying to get back body color, especially on an original paint truck where you're not trying to paint a big area, you're just trying to touch up a small area. We use automotivecolortouchup.com, I believe is the, the website, but basically you can get the old school paint codes in a can mailed right to you. So this is 503 light green in a can and I'm just gonna spray it on this spot here. This is where Mike fixed the repair uh, in the firewall. So we're just gonna spray this 503 light green real quick. And another tip when you're doing this kind of stuff, especially if you're painting something larger like when I painted this firewall, is get you one of these little easy sprayers. They essentially just, like so, have a little nozzle there that'll give you a kind of an even spray pattern. And there we are. So we got this uh, shock front shock relocator bracket for the upper shock mount. So this is from React as well, which is a lot of the tubular stuff that we're using. But it actually just utilizes this little hole here, a factory frame hole here, and then I've got to drill a hole right here. So it just takes this little stud where the old shock stud was, kind of use that as a guide, then use an existing hole here. And you got to drill a new hole here your upper shock mounts here You got to have specific shocks for this So I actually had the wrong shock and had to had to order some probably be the very last parts that come in So I'm gonna drill this hole out real quick and we'll get these installed and uh, move on to something else. Oh And uh, y'all say hello to who's here now what's up, guys? Churchill, what's up? What's up? What you doing man? Getting here late. What uh, oh, I mean you ain't late <laughs> You good you all good We're leaving in 20 minutes <laughs> Just in time. So Churchill, thanks man. Yes, These guys are here like always to help us get this thing ready to go to LST. So they're working on a little something in the back. We're going to show you that in a minute. I'm going to finish up these shot relocators and we'll keep going. Yeah. It's crunch time. I mean, we're to that point 
This is Friday night before we leave next Thursday morning. As you've seen, the truck is in pieces. Still, we're making a lot of progress, but me, Churchill, and Wesley are in here right now, and we're gonna make a list. Uh, Mike is probably gonna have you know, all sorts of things he wants to add to this list or critique this list, <laughs> but this is gonna be our list, and I'm calling it the list. I like it. So here we go. Check all front end bolts. We've got wire, air, management. Man, you gotta write bigger than that. Emma. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. I do write small. <laughs> We got cross members. Yep. So they're drying right now. We're gonna put those in tonight. You'll see that here in just just a few. Pan hard and shock. Plum air ride, which a lot of it is already done. We gotta go rear bags. Mm -hmm. You're gonna install shocks front and rear. Install. Shocks front and rear, we're still waiting on fronts. So we got the rears. Coolant hoses, those are on the way now. That's upper and lower? Yep. Yeah. Fix the hood? That's the one I was looking around for. Yeah. Front clip yep. on. So we got a fix hood. Install bed. Install bed, wire, tail lights. I don't know how you spell tail lights anymore. Wire headlights. No. Wire no air. Power to or worm really. Air compressors. And we've got to wire the wire fan relay and sensor. We'll have to get with Mike on that because he's got a plan to use what we've got to make all that work. Okay. Pretty good list so far. What else are we looking at? What are some of the finer details? Uh, front brake hoses. Oh yeah. Rear brake. Bleed the brakes. Bleed. Front brake hoses. Bleed. Install gas tank. Yeah, we're gonna put gas tank back uh, in. Brakes. We'll start right here. Install tank. Front end alignment. Exhaust. Yeah. All right, guys. You can see where we've got quite a list here. Mount tires to wheels. I'm doing that in the morning. Okay guys, I think this is a list for now. We may have some more things to add to this, but this is what we're checking off. Let's get these, let's look at these cross members. All right. How about that? Yeah. My gosh. We cut it all out. So no more cross members. Nope. Start it over. So this is where the pan, uh, excuse me, this is where the shock cross member is about to go. And this is where the pan hard cross member is going to go. I sent Mike the list. He said, long day ahead. Okay guys, so we are going to be working on the uh, brake line here. Actually, let me redo this. Alright guys, so we're going to be working on the brake line here. These uh, factory brake lines, especially with this little bend here, always cause me an issue here at the cross member. So we've got these Willwood braided lines that we're going to use. I'll drop the part number down in the description, but this end should thread into this jankily run brake line under here. And then we've got the banjo, 7 16 20 banjo fitting with the bolt to go on this end. So we're gonna pull off these old decrepit lines, upgrade with these braided lines. So here we go. All right, so you can see we got the Willwood braided line in. Looks pretty good. Hopefully it'll do us right. This is a great way to just get a little better line pressure and the brake system, better feel, pedal feel, but also, you know, give yourself some some durability up here without a without a rubber hose. So you can get this banjo bolt and fitting to fit right in that caliper on these three AM lines. So pretty cool. Tell me what, what we what we got going here. 
among all the wires. Well, we just put the shocks on top. We're gonna lower it down, bolt the bags in, bolt the shocks in. Got the pan hard bar here. All the cross members finally bolted in tight. Yep. That's looking great. Coming together. All right, let's lower her down. So we're gonna get the bag in. We gotta tighten down all these cross members. Finish up the rear suspension. We're gonna get the bed on today. We're doing all sorts of stuff. Making it happen. Making it happen. It's Saturday. We wanna to try to have this thing on the ground ready for alignment and exhaust by Monday morning. I think we're gonna make it happen. Mike's feeling better, update on him. You may see him later today. If not, you'll definitely see him tomorrow. Mm -hmm. All right guys, so you can see it's coming together back here. We've got the rear cross member in that's been in for a little while. Pan hard bar cross member, shock cross member, pan hard bar in, hanging the shocks, running the bags now. So the rear end is really coming together fast and we're about to put the bed on here shortly. So we're gonna button all this up and that's the next move. All right guys, so the way we're gonna be able to run shocks is not onto the trailing arm like we thought. We actually have a bracket that one of these dudes okay. standing here has. Um, he won't give it up. That will actually, the bolts here and the shock yeah, no, mounts to, to this little part here. All right, so you can see here, shock mounts up to the upper shock cross member and down here at the bottom using that bracket. We're gonna tighten that down, pull this off and we'll be ready to go. We're gonna replicate on the other side, so let's knock that snap off. So about to lock the pan hard bar down. You can see we got all the cross members in. Shocks are run, bags are in. Okay guys, it's uh, about time to put the bed on. And we got everything cinched down. So react trailing arms into the react shock cross member bags are mounted shocks are mounted pan hard bar cross member pan hard bar is cinched down and we've kind of mocked up the center line axle church on wesley did rear cross member so we're uh getting ready to put this thing on where are you going lizzie <laughs> little miss churchill Turn around. all right so we're gonna uh, i guess we're gonna lift the bed up and put it on here hopefully it'll be like what we want to take it off, it, you know, this will be the final. This should be the final. This should be the final time. Yeah. Hooks then showed up up in here. So it's about time to put the bed on. Mike's not even supposed to be here and yet he's making racket. <laughs> so you can see we got the Boyd welding tank in, got it all wired up, fuel pump and cinder. Everything's tight back here. We even got the 90s here for the airline to run to the front. So we got some airline already started here. So. Wesley is, Wes Bramlett, say hi. He's over there getting the, uh, well, just making the battery cables the way he wants them. So get them do, crisp. Get them crisp. So he's doing that, but we're about to put the bed on. Wesley Harden, what are you doing? I'm trying to fix the window. Trying to fix the window? Yeah, it wasn't rolling up and down so well. Yeah, I think it has something to do with a wreck. <laughs> Okay, so while they button up a few things for us to get the bed on, we, uh, where's Rhett and Noah? Rhett and Noah. These guys are over there checking out the burb. Look at all the kids. Kids have been here playing all day. Harden boy, Churchill boy, Churchill girl. Hey Noah. Hey. What did you bring? The wheels and tires. Here's the spoiler. They're white still and dirty i hadn't even cleaned them but 
We got them wrapped in some new continental rubber. Don't go anywhere, Noah. Y'all know Noah. Noah made it happen. First ones I've mounted. First, yeah, he actually, these are the first set of wheels he mounted for us. So we got these wheels mounted up on a fresh set of Continentals. We took the budget tires off and are gonna end up using those on another project, but we wanted Teddy to have some fresh Continentals. So Noah and Rhett over at Brookstone Automotive in, where is that technically? In Kennesaw. In Kennesaw. I was like, is it Marietta? Is it Kennesaw? Is it Dallas? I couldn't really tell. But they got them all mounted up for us, so we're gonna get this uh, trailer unloaded and get them inside, and then we're gonna get them on Teddy tomorrow. I should also point out that Noah and Rhett showed up in this. I mean, a killer delivery vehicle. What year is this thing, Noah? 88. 88. Killer patina. Sweet setup. We're gonna show you more about this thing later. Because we're gonna do a burb episode, aren't we? Absolutely. Yeah! Absolutely. All right. We're getting a wheel. Alright guys, it's that time. We're finally putting the bed on. Here we go. Let's do it. Look, put your legs. Oh come cool. on, we get three ones. Just all do it. I mean we put six people on it, that's pretty dang easy. Alright. Gotta come forward. I can't see if you're gonna wear this. Mike, will you come look under? Oh, if you wiggle this front bolt, it'll probably come through. Sweet. Yep. Alright, there's one. You're in up here. Sweet, thanks, man. What do you think, Wesley? Tell me about it. Mm. Where are we on this list? We got a lot to go, but not. All right. So, I mean, if you guys can't tell, we got the bed on. So that was important. What else we got? We're about to finish those. Those be no. wired them tail lights. Yeah, that's easy. I mean, rest, really, it's just wiring all this stuff. Yeah, wiring and plumbing this. That shouldn't be bad. No. I marked all check off front end bolts. Uh, we did do that. Yep. Cross members are in. Stall shocks in the rear. We're waiting on the front shocks. Who crossed that off? I, I crossed that off. That'd have been me. Uh, coolant hoses are on the way. We got to work on the front clip tomorrow. We're going to work on the hood. We got some welding. Churchill or okay. Mike's going to get on that. I think Mike's coming back tomorrow. We just installed the bed. Wesley marked that off. So we got to wire tail lights, headlights, air compressors. We got to do the fans, bleed the brakes. I'm gonna be changing the passenger caliper to make that Willwood setup work better. The Willwood brake lines work better. Uh, front end alignment and exhaust on Monday. Today is Saturday. Before we leave to go to LST, we've got the Panhard bar in. We got tires mounted thanks to Noah and Rhett at Brookstone Automotive. Those are over there. And yeah, that's where we are. So we're gonna get a game plan as to what we're gonna tackle next. And well, we'll be back. I think somebody just got here. <laughs> oh. What you doing, old fella? What's happening, man? Dang, dang. Ronald! Big Donald! Michael! TTR just showed up in an OBS dually, son. OBS big block dually. Big block dually. Man, that thing sounded good. Favorite hat. Heck yeah, man. They're not 22s yet, but. Man, I love them. <laughs> you know, I want those off of your hands. I was telling Mike, I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna buy those wheels off Ryan. He was like, where you gonna put on those on? I was like, I don't know. I just want them. Gotta buy some. <laughs> I just uh, want them, I the love them. I used to work with told me, he said, sometimes you just gotta buy a part to start somewhere. That's right. You can build the rest around it. Man, this thing looks cool, dude. It's got a great stance. It's a 95 big block, regular cab dually. Got 410 gears in it, 4L80 in it. How oh, drops on it? It's a 5.7 right now. Okay. Then it's got air shocks in the back. Looks like it's got some Continentals on the front. I've had it almost a month now. In all honesty, man, I really wasn't trying to buy a truck. <laughs> uh, and I saw it and I, 
I text Zach, and then next thing you know, like two days later. <laughs> You are going to Memphis to get this we went, thing? We went almost to Memphis. We stopped, uh, it was right before we got all that snow. Yeah. We stopped in uh, just outside of Birmingham, stayed in a hotel that Friday night, and then finished the drive there and back Saturday. So, man. But does it ride good? It rides pretty good for what it is. Uh, the biggest thing is, it's kind of hard to get used to those dually fenders. Like the. Oh, man, I bet. Zach drove it back. Second day, I went to drive it. I had to get gas, and I almost ripped the dually fender off oh, on the uh, man. gas station. So. <laughs> Mike, what you thinking as you drink a Red Bull and play on your phone? What you think about the old truck, man? It looks good, man. We're not going to build it up too much because Mike's already told me he wants to buy it from you. to break in here real quick because it, it just hit me that Ron, Rick, myself started the Teddy build back in 2018 before the channel and us doing so kind of gave me the confidence to jump in and start the channel and start showing this kind of content. So I just want to say big thanks to you guys. They're back again today. We're doing finishing touches on the truck as you guys know. I'm sure this has been a long video with lots of things going on in it but it's important to note, Ron and Rick are here, and I'm super stoked. We're really getting close. Mike's working on some wiring up front right now. But before we jump back into actual wrenching content, wanna uh, kick it over to Rick real quick. Tell everybody what's going on yeah. in April in Atlanta. So April 2nd uh, in Atlanta, we're doing uh, our second C10s in the city. Pretty fired up about it. We got a bunch of sponsors on board this time, so it's, I think it's gonna be a little bigger. Uh, yeah. We got some people coming in from out of town. I'm pretty fired up about. We got trailer parking this time for people. Uh, it's from 11 to 6. It's in Summer Hill, Atlanta, which is the the old gold lot for the Brave the old Brave Stadium, which is now Georgia State Stadium. Sweet. So man. we got uh, we got plenty of room this time. Pretty fired up. It's gonna be pretty cool. We got a lot of a lot of people helping out, including United by Trucks, AMD. It's gonna be great. Yeah, man. I'm super stoked. Who's the uh, title sponsor? C10 Builders Guide. Sweet. Congrats yep. on on all that. Yeah, man. So they'll and, be there. Uh, and they actually put a thing out, so if anybody wants to try and get a photo shoot, like they're they're there to do that. Wow! So yep. you bring your truck, and there's an opportunity for C10 Builders guy to shoot it, yep. and maybe even end up in a magazine. Yeah, yeah, that's rad, dude. Yeah, pretty cool. Sweet man. We're looking forward to a second annual C10s in the city yeah. in Atlanta. Yeah. Okay, so Ron and Rick have been mocking up this. Well, it's not it's not the prettiest thing. It's really not, but upper radiator hose. We couldn't even make it work on the bottom because the adapters are so long, but. I'm thinking this is how we're gonna have to go. Hopefully it'll <laughs> is that even gonna lay below the hood? Well yeah, it's gonna be it <laughs> Yeah, you could so we need to cut a line there. Okay. The wrong put on there so, we so we're gonna go cut this to link. It's probably gonna loop up like this and then just run in right here. Yep. Alright guys, so it's that time. We have been working on a bunch of little stuff. We're gonna tell you what Mike's been doing under the truck. Um, but right now it's time to get the fenders on, get the grill on, and start making this look like a complete truck. So we're gonna do that right now, and then we're gonna take the truck back up, finish some stuff on the underside, and we'll tell you about that when we do. But let's get this fender off. This one's not bad. These two, these two aren't bad. Yeah, use, this, use those two on the two that you see. Yeah, put so that one right here. And then put that one on the other side. Yeah. Because you only see it while I do it. I just said that on camera. It's all good, man. Now everybody's going to know what we're up to. We're hiding the shitty bolts on the bottom. <laughs> Apparently I'm supposed to talk in a camera A. Camera A. Well, it's labeled camera A. Alright, so... Are you serious? Tell me what we got marked off. Anything? So, according to the list here, which is getting quite short, probably because there's more on the back now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just got that. There's more on the back. <laughs> uh, so far, we can check out wire. Oh, no, that's not, that's not the one. Uh, plum air ride, because we're all done with that. Oh, sweet. 
We haven't wired it up yet, but we plumbed her up. Got her plumb. She's plumb. She's plumb. Plump. So this is what we're looking like here as I take that from Mike. Baby steps. Lots of things marked off. There's one thing troubling on the back here though. This is longer bolts on bottom of rear shocks. This is the first time learning of this. Oh yeah, because they're not. You're right. You're right. That, this is on me. Let me turn to camera B. <laughs> things we need. Wesley wrote longer bolts on bottom of rear shocks. And I, I knew about this and I forgot to say something to Mike. But this is because the rear shock bolts don't get into the nylon threads and the lock nut. Uh oh, can we get You got to come. We gotta go back. Back? Yeah. Like back this way? No, like this way. Way back. So I gotta get the a new piece of fender trim right here. We've got it on the drive on the passenger side, but this one was back ordered. Look at that. Look, they all gotta have some sort of impression. Like the other one had some something in that yeah. in that spot too. Hey Mike. 910. 910, baby. Yeah, and if you guys don't know, that is a Canadian badge. Because these fenders came off a Canadian truck, thanks to Jaden Schroeder. A 910 means half ton. It'd be 920 for three quarter and 930 for one ton. Oh dang, I can see the ground through the rocker. No way. God dog, Mike. Why don't you say such a hurtful thing about Teddy? It's not hurtful if it's true. Well, I can't wait till you fix all the rust in this truck. Yeah, I can't wait to charge you for it. Yeah, yeah. You can, that's gonna be a freebie. <laughs> Yep, I propped up, Mike. Oh, 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 and we got that on camera. Yes, yes, rad. I think I can hear both of them running. Yeah, it's definitely running. Oh yeah, yeah, it would rub a little right there. Oh, shit, this thing's gonna be a lot lower than. Oh yeah, it's gonna be rad. 11:30. I mean the pop tart. Just showed you guys what we got done tonight. Pumped. Super pumped. We still got a lot to do. Tomorrow's Monday. We leave Thursday. But. We got a whole lot done. Front clips on. Front suspension is mostly buttoned up. Got to get a brake line on up front. Tanks cleaned up. Compressors work as you just heard. Pan hard bars in place. Shocks are in place. Bags are in place. Trailing arms. I think it's gonna sit good, Mike. Beds on, tail lights are run. We've gotta run the headlights, the wiring for the headlights. Run a few wires on the inside of the truck. Hook up a controller for the air management, that sort of stuff. Heavy mix of new and old. All right, guys, it is Monday. Monday before we leave for Lone Star Throwdown on Thursday. We got a lot to do today. Mike and I are in the shop. I think Rick's coming by later, so you may see him. But we've got a very small punch list, but a really important punch list. 
to get going on this truck so we can head out on Thursday. Um, I'm going to grab Mike. He's over here looking at, or was looking at, how we're going to make this intake work in the engine bay. So we'll show you that as we get going. But we'll grab Mike. We're going to run through today's punch list so that we can get this truck to alignment and exhaust. And uh, I'm really stoked how it's coming together. I think you guys know that. Give ourselves a little Monday motivation. We're going to hit the key, make sure this thing will turn over. Just kind of hear what it sounds like. We just gonna hit the key, make sure that the motor will turn over and act like it wants to start. You ready, Mike? Word. Any fuel leaks up there? success now it's looking like a farm truck got that grill baby doing inside the engine bay at this stage in the game our upper radiator hose situation was a situation it was it was hitting the air cleaner air intake air intake and uh with the motor being so far forward and everything everything's so close there's no real anywhere to go with any of it so normally this upper radiator or uh you know upper radiator hose nipple was turned i think it was up in that way yeah up in this way yep so i cut it off shrunk it down as close as i could get it to the boss and the water pump and then tig welded it back on and it's facing this way you can see it a little better now so that way the hose will come out and then go into the into the radiator and so now that we've got the radiator hose come this way our air cleaner can come this way so now we have all the room sweet thanks man and i just squished my big giant ass inside the yes you did bay. he's in the engine bay and it's awesome hi right, guys so we've been slowly working away trying to get the rest of the front end done trying to get some wiring done mike's inside the cab working on getting the switch box wired up and key on for the fans and uh it's time to at least mount the wheels and tires on the back. We are completely buttoned up in the back. All the wires are run. So we're gonna put the wheels and tires on the back. And speaking of wheels and tires, same wheels. As you guys know, these are Detroit Steel Wheel D-Town Smoothies. 20 by eight up front, 20 by nine in the rear, four and a half backspace on the front, four inch backspace on the rear and we've got them wrapped in a fresh set of Continental Extreme Contact DWS-06. We're doing a 245-40 in the front and a 275-40 in the rear. And the reason we're doing that 275-40 in the rear is because I have a wider 71 to 72 factory rear end in the rear. And with a four inch backspace on the wheels, it makes it real tight up against the outer side, uh, the bedside. So we got a little bit of fitment issues there. So I tried to go from a two, I went from a 285-40 to a 275-40 trying to correct that a little bit. But we're gonna get these Continental tires and Detroit steel wheels mounted up at least on the rear and uh, keep plugging away.
All right, guys. So we got quite a few things to finish up in the engine bay. Um, we'll consult the list here in a minute, but Teddy's coming off the lift for the first time. I don't know. How long has this thing been on the lift? Three weeks, but probably, I don't know. We ain't been working on it for three weeks. Um, so anyway, have we been working on it for three weeks? I mean, not, not consistently, not every day. Anyway, we're about to get this thing off a lift and uh, show you what the suspension is all about. Hey, what are you doing? I think the alignment's good. <laughs> All right, Mike, get it. Do it, Mike. That's it. Watch them digits, Rod. Alright. That'll stuff the front. Whoa. We got any more in the rear? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta cut the bump stop, Mike. Inch and a half. Yeah. I was, y'all put them back in? Yeah, we're gonna cut them. Yeah, they got any cut them. Dang, that sucks low up front. I like yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out, I'm grabbing your bone. Oh, yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Is the bed where it's going? Yes. If so, we need to adjust the pan hard a little bit. Uh -huh. Well, it may be hitting this way a little bit. It's not, bad. it's not hitting over there, but it just needs to come this way a bit. He wants it lowered right. Is there any, uh, so we need to cut. Oh, yeah, it definitely needs to come this way a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was saying. They'll fix that if you want. Hey, Wes. Yes. Can you align the rear? Did you align the rear of my vehicle? Yeah, just center it. Wes, I will ride this thing to the bed. Wesley, I will ride with it tucking tire up front. I won't. I probably won't ride with it tucking much wheel. You could probably go an inch and a half. Okay, that's what we, we want to go maximum. So I roughly measured yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, down an inch over there and up an inch over here. Yeah. Be good. Yeah, you can go an inch and a half. Cause that'll make a. I mean, like it's got a a, a hell of a rake right now, but it'll be. Well, yeah, with an inch and a half down, yeah, tucking, yeah, tucking, yeah, tucking the rest of that tire. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got to do and that. And then I'll come now. up just a little bit. There. Uh, it's TTR, tell me what you think. Uh, about what, Teddy? Yeah, no, about the chicken we had for lunch. No, I had chicken for lunch? Well, that you were here. I'm just kidding. Oh, that was yesterday. <laughs> and here I'm back two, just two, days, two days in a row. row. TTR's back. Uh, I'm like setting a record over here. But I made Zach go this time because... Yep. Say what up, Huck. I mean, say what up, Huck. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so what do you think about Teddy? I think Teddy was super cool before and he's even cooler now. That's what I think too. Uh, we got to get this thing down another inch and a half in the back and it's going to be better. So, what's Wesley down there doing? It's Monday night. Yes, it is. We're going to leave Thursday morning. Yes, we are. You going to be ready for this? I'm going to be ready. You ready? Dude, I was born ready. That's a stupid question for this fella. Born ready. It's gonna be fun, isn't it? You know how many tacos I'm gonna eat tomorrow and Wednesday I, to prepare? I just, I just hope they land in your mouth and not on the ground. I'm still gonna eat them. I know you are. <laughs> Torchies and La Palma and what's Torchies the other tacos? The, oh, we have tacos at, at the, the show. The, the two little ladies they out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they had um, they had them la not last year, but the year before they had yeah. the ladies where if you bought like three tacos, you got a cup of beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is. Texas, of course. Just Let me give you a hand, Wesley. Tacos. <clears throat> Did you cut those already? No, we took them out. We don't need them. We're just not even going to run them. All right. Okay. <laughs> so we cut a little, about an inch and a half off of these to get a little bit down in the rear. Come on, now. Oh, he wasn't yeah. ready. I wasn't ready. Oh, did he hit it? Sound like it did. Oh, so that's what I can do no. straight now. Oh, 
Hey, as long as the, uh, the brakes ain't on up front, you're fine. Keep going down until it pushes up to where it wants to go. Oh boy, yeah. That's sweet. Is the rear down, down? Yeah. I know you don't mess it up. Dude. No, it's, it's just down as far as it's gonna go. Where's the light yeah, at? Yeah, I'm down with that. Where's the light at? <laughs> yeah. Love it. That's where we're gonna cut it off for the night. We'll uh we're doing alignment, exhaust. We finished up a couple of things where we got the wiring done, we got the grill done. I'm gonna show you what that looks like here in just a second. We're about to bleed the brakes. Churchill and I are really the only ones left here. Um still Monday night, and we're gonna bleed the brakes finish some stuff up and set ride height. So we'll show you that here in just a second, just to kind of give you an idea where we think ride height's gonna be on this thing. And uh, then we'll come back after alignment, after exhaust, after we get the hood on and get the hood, we gotta get the hood fixed. There's some ru a rough spot on it we gotta fix. But after we get all that on, we'll wash it up and do a reveal video. So y'all stay, be sure to stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Definitely leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think of Teddy 2.0 and smash that thumbs up button. We really appreciate all the engagement on our videos and uh, we'll catch you next time right here on United by Trucks. Well, appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed. It's on. Cue the music.